Hi guys, so welcome back to my channel. Um, okay, so my sister didn't like really think I was ready to tell this story and it's kind of embarrassing, but it just happened and girls don't talk about their their shit, their poops, right? Well, I'm gonna talk about my poops because this is a story about poop. So I had this guy um, that came over for the weekend for my birthday and he stayed like in my room, in my house obviously, right? So this whole weekend though, like, or the past weekend I guess is when this really happened, but whatever. Um, he like we drank a lot we ate a lot of like bad food so so it's a normal start to this story right i don't want to let this video just play on and on and on i'm not trying to pull a hassan here um and yeah i do see the girl define things uh some of the funny stuff about blair's business right when you run a business there's like the hustlers university type business and there's like an actual business right like we built the website for our stuff uh, but we work with a real roaster. He's a really nice guy, right? But Blair is one of those hustler type businesses where she makes candles and like soaps and shit. And it's just really funny that she counts those in the same league as her real estate business. Wh which she does, by the way, when describing how she's a businesswoman who owns six businesses. Like, like, no, that's a hobby that you make bonus income from. That's not really a business, okay? Like, the the volumes, the volumes of difference there is insane, right? Uh, like, like we've sold about 100 bags of coffee. I've packed about 40 boxes. That's, like, way different than, like, making soap to order or like a candle to order from like your Etsy store page, right? I don't want Etsy taking a cut of my income. It's like unhealthy, like junk foods, you know, whatever. And so, and I didn't drink enough water. So I am like 50% sure the reason the story is even existing is because of not drinking water. So drink water because this story is about to be a life lesson for you. I forgot, I think it was Sunday. So we woke up and whatever played games and we decided we were all gonna go out to breakfast to go get some food and how long ago is this video posted so a little thing to learn about blair um according to the people i talked to blair used to be a stripper that might be news to some of you and for some of you you might go what this bitch is busted she was <laughs> she was a stripper but before she did the Illuminati stuff, Illuminati was like a girls get it done type channel, right? Where she would talk about her experiences as a woman, right? And try and relate that to people. That's that's what she used to do. Um, so that's the kind of content that she used to make. Uh, she talks about past date experiences that all went bad. Um, but she talks about her past date so often, it kind of comes off as like, she's the common denominator, right? Why do you Etsy when you can make your own website? Because she's like a hustler type person, you know what I mean? Like, this is the difference between, like, I'm making a sustainable business for people versus, like, a, this is my Uber Eats side hustle thing, right? But you, you you guys know what kind of girl Blair was in the back room, you know, where all the, all the ladies are getting ready for their performance. She was the queen bee, right? That's what Blair is. <laughs> Blair devaluing strippers. Hey, man, I got, I got friends who were strippers. They're based as fuck. Blair, not base. We don't, we, no, 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 not about that, right? But uh, you, you just know, you just know everything we've seen from her. You just know she was in the back room, micromanaging all the other girls, starting bullshit amongst the women, you know, all that shit. But come on, like you can just see it. You can just see her in the back room talking to one of her bitches, being like, oh, Cindy is such a whore, this, that, and the other thing. Like those type things, right? Like we can see that mean girls type attitude. From the content she makes. You know, there's a lot of opinions that, or inferences that I get from Blair based on her past and how she acts, right? We can start to develop like a idea, but we haven't even gotten to, uh, we haven't even gotten to the shit in this story. Didn't Creepshow actively stalk the ex of her boyfriend? Uh, we're not quite there with Blair. Yeah, Creepshow did a little bit different. Um, to my knowledge, Blair's never gone on. Where did Creepshow art go? It was one of those forums. It wasn't Kiwi Farms. It was like Pretty Ugly Little Liars. Did she go there? It was one of those tea forums where they all talk shit about people and uh, Creepshow art would talk shit about people. I, I haven't seen Blair do that. I was like, oh, okay, cool. I need to go to the bathroom real quick. And sometimes, you know, when you go to the bathroom, like the unexpected poops show up and you just thought you were going there to piss and then all of a sudden you're like, you know, shitting out Mona Lisa's arm. And you're like, I don't know what happened here, but here we are. So I've never had this problem before. And it was like a big fucking turn. Like this thing was like 
a baby arm on steroids. Like, I really thought I potentially, like, ripped my asshole in, like, I don't know, like, I had two assholes or something. I don't know. Like, there was, like, it was huge. Um, I'm looking at it. <laughs> it was a big poop. It was a really big poop. It was huge. Tomato man. I love crazy bitches, but this one takes the key. <laughs> we have 500 people watching. <laughs> 500 people watching your fucking poop video. <laughs> oh my god, there's no way she's not gonna see this, bro. This is gonna be so fucking funny. <laughs> and I don't even see the hole for the toilet to like, you know, where it sucks all the shit down. I, I just love the fact that she's so descriptive with it, that her poop is so big that it's just, she can't even see the bottom. Like, like this is just the, fe uh, the, the worst kind of fecal incident ever, you know? <laughs> Literally, ha. it was gone. Like there, w it was literally just looking at a big straight fucking log, and um, and there was, I didn't even see the hole, so I knew the poop wouldn't go. Okay, and I have this guy over, and I like dig him and shit, and I'm like, oh my god, he can't see this poop, and he like was like, hey, can I use your bathroom? And I'm like, oh god, I'm in here panicking. So, you know, I did what any normal person would do in this situation. So I took a bunch of the um, toilet paper. No, nope, I'm going to stop you right there, Blair. That's not what a normal person would do. Like the way she tells this story, right, is that she didn't even try to flush it. She's like, this shit's so big, it must not go down. And so she was just like, I might as well just get my on my hands and knees and pick it out. <laughs> and I tried to pick the poop up with my hands. And... So I thought it would be just like, you know, a piece of wood and you just like, you know, just like pick it up and I was gonna like put it in the trash can. Well, like why, why would your feces be like a piece of wood? Like what, 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 what even like begins to cross your mind that that's what you think poop feels like, you know, like I, I just, what is the logical train of thought that leads to that? <laughs> Like, like if it was like a piece of wood, it was like you'd be bleeding out your asshole profusely. That's not a normal thing that humans do. At no point in this story will she bring up the concept of a plunger, okay? I have those little baby trash can bags, and I'm just gonna take the trash out. Like, no big deal. Like, haha, I'm just cleaning the bathroom. Is it, guys, is it a crime to throw your feces out in the trash? I like, I, I don't know if it is. I'm not saying she's committed a crime. But I'm just saying, like, I feel like that's, like, you shouldn't do that, right? <laughs> It broke in half in the toilet, so, and then it, like, slides back down, so now there's poo stains, like, embedded into the toilet, like, skid marks, so now, like, there is, like, evidence of my poo duty gone wrong, and I'm in this bathroom freaking out. My poo duty gone wrong, my brother, my brother. <laughs> what would you do if you were on the date with her? I would not. <laughs> I would not. This is Blair trying to put Lumberjack on her CV. <laughs> she's gotta, she's gotta really pump that CV up now. She might not be in the job of YouTube much longer. <laughs> Don't you throw out dirty diapers? I mean, I guess, yeah, but like, something feels like, like, like it feels socially wrong to like throw your poop out in like a trash bag. You know what I mean? Like a diaper is like that's a place where poop goes, but. You know, uh, uh, the the uh, like uh, putting a lump of log in the trash is like different. You know, it's just like at that rate, just shit on the street. You know, I I don't know, man. I I live in New York. I see human shit on the street like all the time. I don't get why you talk about this on the internet. I don't know why you you, you would either. This is so embarrassing. It's like dead silent in there, and I can hear him in the bedroom, and it's dead silent. I'm like, oh my god, he can hear everything through this door. I have just shit a baby arm out. And now I broke it in half and it made shit stains down the uh, side of the toilet. Okay. So the guy is like sitting in the other room. Like I, I just, the, 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 the concept of this is just, you know, she's sitting there and she's like hands and knees. Like she's just done sweating. She's like, oh, I gotta put my hands in the fucking poop water. And <laughs> oh man, I got something in my eye. This is just the worst. I, um, I, I, I might've gotten backsplash from Blair's video in my eye. <laughs> I feel bad for the guy. I like, man, Blair. I hope you weren't gonna plan to do butt stuff with the guy because it sounds like fucking Mordor down there in your butthole. Now I'm torn because now half of the mammoth baby arm is in the trash can, and the other half is in the toilet, surrounded by skid marks, and this dude is right outside my door. 
So, I mean, what any natural person does, I go, hey, let's go out and get breakfast. And he was like, what happened? And I go, oh, I accidentally tried to flush some tampons down the toilet. And he's like, oh, so the toilet's like kind of clogged. I'm like, yeah. If the guy you're with leaves you because you perform a not normal bodily function, maybe it's good he leaves. That's a very good point, Shadow. That's a very good point. The the amount of work she's going through to hide her fecal incident is just it's just too much. Like it's too it's too much. <laughs> yeah, lol. What would you do if you dated Blair? Get pink eye. <laughs> yeah, just I threw whole tampons right in there. Just boop. And he was like, "You're on your period." I was like. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Flex I'm on my period. <laughs> Baby arm shit emoji. <laughs> Is slash was she constipated? I, I, I mean, I guess so. I, the thing is, is she talks about how they ate a lot like the prior day, but I mean, I've had big shits. I'm a big guy. I, I sometimes I got big shits. All right, you know that's just it happens. That's life. But I don't. She just keeps explaining it with the baby arm thing. It, it's like the baby arm thing is funny once, maybe twice, three times. Now you're talking about it a little too much. You know what I mean? I mean it's already fucking strange because you got on your hands and knees and now you're digging in your toilet to try and take out your shit. But I mean clearly it wasn't a hard shit. It was definitely a soft shit. So it, it all fell apart. You know like. <laughs> That's why there's tampons in the toilet right now, and that's why the toilet won't flush. So, we go out to breakfast, and breakfast is good or whatever. In the back of my head, I'm thinking when I come home, I'm gonna have to fight, like, this baby arm that is still in the toilet. It's been taking a lot of steroids. Shit was pumped. What, 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 what is that? What is that? This is, like, the fourth fucking mention of the fucking feces being, a, like, powerful. Like, what? What? She has zero comedic timing, which makes this worse somehow. Like, really, the reality is, is that you just make that joke once and then you move on, right? Like, it's part of a story, but you don't need to, like, pump up the story, pun intended, by talking about how fucking fecally massive your shit was multiple times. Yes, she's going to leave it in there as they leave. I get back home and I start to walk over to talk to my sister about something and then I like hear him going towards the bathroom and I'm like, no, don't you fucking go in there. And he was like, why? I'm like, uh, the tampons, duh. Like, <laughs> Hunter Zero, let's hope baby arm is in a whole new rabbit hole. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Like, what, you got like a weird poop fetish? Like, 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 she's already playing with her shit. I mean, that's what she's doing. She's playing with her shit. Yes, I know. She, she may have stole this from a comedian. I'm almost certain she stole this from a comedian because I feel like I've heard this before. But I mean, what? We got like... A fucking fuckload of people here and none of us can remember which comedian it is you know tampons in the toilet and he's like you know, it's no big deal i'm like no do not go fucking do not go in that bathroom you don't understand what is in that bathroom because i know what's in that bathroom it's in the it's in the fucking trash can part of it is in the trash can and part of it is leaving marks fuck you i just got a snapchat i'm so sorry part of it is in the fucking trash can and part of it is leaving fucking skid marks showing its goddamn victory in the toilet and I'm here fucking losing my shit. Like, oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> She's literally losing her shit. Am I right, guys? Ha <laughs> ha, honk honk. <laughs> oh my god. It, 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 the thing is, is like, she could have just... Why didn't she just fucking f flush it? She never flushed it. Do you think she's actually going to sue people? I honestly don't think she has the balls to go through with it. I think she's going to see the backlash from this and she might finally take the L, but she's almost doubled or tripled down now. Um, I don't think it would hold up in court. Uh, ultimately, at the end of the day, Wonder will walk away on top from this. There's just no way it would go in her favor. If we're talking about like a, a slander thing, right? Blair's a public figure. Um, and the C&D and all that happened after she had a sponsor taken away so i feel like that is what she'd use in her argument is like this is an example of my income being hurt by you saying something right but it has to be proven like malicious and deliberately falsified intent and all this other stuff so i don't think she would be successful but there is a possibility she would go through with it just because she is an idiot but i'd hope a lawyer would tell her that this would be you know more money than it's worth i mean wonder is the last person you would want to sue in this situation i would say go after a youtuber who did a video go after tom go after me go after after I go after any anybody right that made a video that hit like a million views go after those people because they have the money right and there's a higher chance of them having malicious intent quote-unquote or whatever so that that's my 
idea if I was to go through with the lawsuit and litigation. But, you know, I'm not a lawyer. That's just my fucking opinion, right? It's hilarious that she thinks suing people is going to help her somehow. It, it was, this is like that Holy Mary last shot. Like, she knows she's going down, so she might as well take someone down with her, right? I already lost my shit. And I'm like, oh my God, he's going to see this baby muscle turd. So I'd like run in there really fucking fast, snatch up that toilet real quick. And I'm in there with a plunger fucking crying. And I'm okay, 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 okay. So she left his shit in there an entire day, right? She let it stew. She let her fucking feces fester in the room, right? But at no point did this, did the plunger come out. The plunger should have been the first thing that come out. Hold on. If she has a plunger, why the fuck she put her hands on it? Why is she touching it with her fingers, bro? She's got a plunger. Just plunge it. The plunger can get dirty. It's a plunger. <laughs> I've watched this video more than once, guys. And, and, and it, that, that never fucking occurred to me. What? Like, plunging this fucker so hard with the door shut. And he's just like, are you okay? And I'm like, yeah, I'm fine. Water's, like, splashing everywhere. It's, like, on my legs. I, like, feel disgusting now because there's baby arm turd on there. There's baby arm turd in the plunger itself because I just had to, like, push it. How do you get water everywhere? I, she must have been, like, flushing, like, fiddling with the handle and shit. Literally. Fidd fiddling with the handle and shit. <laughs> In there, you know, kind of, like, make it stew or something. Like, I don't know. So it finally flushes. I take the little baby trash can out. And he's like, oh, are you okay in there? I'm like, yeah. And he comes in to, like, brush his teeth. And I see his nose, like, you know, shrivel up because he can smell my lies that there were no tampons in the toilet at all. And he just kind of like looked at me and didn't say anything. And uh, I think it was for the best. Yeah, I think I definitely like pooped the biggest poop of my life. Of course, it had to happen during like my birthday weekend when I had somebody over. So, you know, it had to come at the most inconvenient times for me. Why? Like, you know, you got like a guy over. If the guy is like, sorry, sorry, babe, I'm not going to have sex with you. You pooped and that's gross. Girls aren't supposed to poop. Like what? Like what is what is going on? Like what what is going through your head, man? Like, bro. So, of course. So that is my lovely poop story, I guess. Kinda hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um if you did, like, subscribe, comment, all that fun stuff. And I like giraffes. Yeah, that's yeah. a great that's a great one, lady. That's a great one to end it on. I like giraffes. You sure it's the giraffes you like? Huh? Not the not the stew stewed poo poo that you got sitting in your fucking toilet bowl. Damn Blair, I always thought you were a witch, but fucking you're stewing some potions up in there, bro. <laughs> I got some more. You guys want to see some more? <laughs> okay, so I don't. Some of these I haven't seen before, so they might not be funny. They might be real stinkers, right? Some of these are real stinkers. I'm not like the other girls. I'm so quirky and say I like giraffes because I'm so quirky. Ooh. All right, guys. So we got waxing my boyfriend's balls coming up next. Again, I have not seen this one. If this one sucks, I'm sorry. <laughs> but here's waxing my boyfriend's balls. So today I'm going to do. She's got a lot of wigs, guys. If you didn't, if you didn't know, here you know. Uh, she's got a lot of wigs. <laughs> story time and my story time is kind of a weird one it's gonna be the story of the time that i once tried to wax my boyfriend's balls yep that's literally what the story is gonna be about if, if i'm if i'm your boyfriend i you know sometimes there's things that are like meant to stay off the internet right like some guys are comfortable with it I'm a pretty open dude, you know, like at least converse with me on whether or not it's okay to talk about you waxing my nuts. <laughs> okay. So the like long and the short of the story is my boyfriend and I from like years ago. Blair is going to have a fucking field day with this stream, guys. If the if the VOD goes down, it's because she tried to take it down. All right. Um, for me reacting to these fucking videos, all right? I, I'm adding a lot of commentary to it. It's not like she has these videos up anywhere else. I will re-up these videos publicly somewhere else if she does that. Um, because fuck you. Um, these videos are funny, Blair. You should have left them up the whole time. <laughs> Though we established if you're her boyfriend, you're getting pink eye. Oh, that's true. That's true. <laughs> I think, like, probably this is, like, a 2011 time frame. So it's, like, gotta be, what, four or five years old now. Um... So he decided 
that he wanted to like start maintaining like down there a little bit more and he decided that he wanted to just have like no hair because he told me that with like shaving like the stub would be really uncomfortable for him so he, i had mentioned wax to him and i told him you know of like a salon he could go to to like get it done and all this stuff and he's like no i don't want to go there mm. i want you to do it mm. so i was like oh mm. Mm. no you want to you don't uh, listen take it somewhere else <laughs> Hey, um, I've never really waxed anyone's body parts before and like let alone like a set of balls and I didn't really know what I was doing obviously We go to like I didn't know what I was doing like I bro. This is the most trusting boyfriend ever He's he's so ready for her to wax his nuts and She's never done it before bro <laughs> balls are a sensitive spot. Okay, like this ain't even a manscape dad, bro. But fucking, if you're a guy and you're shaving your nuts and you've used like one of those dry razors, right? And it's buzzing and those little teeth clip on the thin skin of your nuts. It is the worst, the worst feeling. And blood gets everywhere because there's a lot of blood down there, right? A lot of little vessels. So like, holy shit, like you wax wrong. Oh, there goes all the fucking thin dick skin you got down there. Like we're, we're getting, man, it must've been like a fucking jungle down there in his nuts. Yes, right by his house. And we just buy like a package of like those regular, like full, like all over body wax strips, right? From like Nair or, you know, whatever, whoever makes them. And so we go back to his house and like his parents are downstairs and his brother, they had, like, a Jack and Jill bathroom, you know, where, like, the bathroom, like, goes Never through. Never Nair down there. Yeah, I've heard it burns. I've heard it burns. I don't use Nair. I just shave. I just, you know, bite a piece of wood, and I go, and I go, you know? Through, but, like, separates it. And is so we have both the bathroom doors shut, but his brother is in the other room. We are... I'm going upstairs with, like, this hot little tub of wax, and he's got all the strips and What's stuff. What's the dude and into wax like, play? Listen, if the man is into wax play... You know, maybe we start with, like, some candles. We don't just start with ripping your nuts, right? You know, there's, like, a scale. We take it up gradually, all right? We don't... We start at 1 and we get to 11. We don't start at 11. I got his bed, and I didn't really know how to do this. So I just kind of, like, take the little dippy spoon, um, tongue depressor-looking thing, and I just kind of, like, take some of the wax out, and I just kind of, you know, like, sh 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 like, slather it up on there, like, you're making a peanut butter jelly sandwich, but it's, like, a, a dip. <laughs> I'm slabbing, I'm slathering the wax in between his taint and the underside of his nuts. Okay. I ain't religious, but I'm praying to God right now, bro. I'm fucking, I'm religious. The plane is fucking falling. I'm on my hands and knees, bro. <laughs> oh, man. Thick and wax, or, like, balls and wax. <laughs> and so I put it on there. And I put the little cloth strips that they give you to tear them off and I like pat it on there or whatever. And I didn't really know like what direction you pull the hair. So I figured it would be best to pull like- Some guys are into CBT. Yeah, I mean, some guys are into CBT. I'm not gonna kink shame, but, but like, you know, we get into it educationally, you know, we learn. We don't just, we don't go balls deep, if you will, right? <laughs> like like from the from the balls and <laughs> like pull up towards his dick and I whoa 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 you pulling up to it okay bro fucking you're gonna give you uh, somebody in chat earlier was like you're gonna give him a second circumcision yeah bro i didn't realize i got some of the wax actually on like it and on his, on his cock you know what always goes great with ball waxing Mana potion coffee with code D10. You can wax your balls in energized comfort. That's 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 correct. That's correct. Um, I don't think our coffee will make you better at waxing your nuts, but you should buy Mana Potion Coffee at manapotioncoffee.com. Use D10 at checkout for 10% off your order. <laughs> I haven't laughed so hard. This girl's a stinker. <laughs> yeah, this girl is a stinker, so I've been told, so she's told me. <laughs> oh. oh, man, guys, I'm, I'm crying, I'm crying. <laughs> she waxes like she plunges. <laughs> so, 
that turned into him screaming one of the most vile screams I've ever heard in no, my life. No shit he screamed. You just ripped off a piece of his dick skin. What? And I'm like, I'm like, you know, are you okay? Do we need to stop over one? He's like, no, 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 we have to continue. So what do you mean? Okay. Well, okay. Oh, man. Ah, uh, this guy's a brave soul. He's like, listen, I already started. I'm in severe pain. Keep going. So... He also had like really like coarse hair, you know, not really like it wasn't really fine. So on top of this wax oh, being like extremely Lord. painful, um, it didn't actually even rip all the hairs out. Almost like you're not, you, you shouldn't. This guy's like, oh, I don't like how my balls are itchy after I shave them. Bro, I don't. Listen, we got guys, we know, we know, fellas, why you get your ball, why you shave your balls, all right? You want head, all right? You want her to gargle the nuts, but just shave. So it was like I would have to go back into that area again, but like we kind of gave up a couple into it. So he just had like a really like patchy just downstairs for like a long time. It was just, it was really like a tragedy <laughs> what happened. Um, yeah, that was kind of weird. So I kind of learned the hard way that you do not try and wax somebody's balls. So we're, so we're trying to do this like wax. And, and these are just the dudes that decided to date her long term, right? She also has videos where she talks about going on dates with guys. And um, the, the problem is, is that there's so many of them that it goes from being like, oh, these dudes are shitty to like her being like weird. I really tried. I was just being a good girlfriend. I was being supportive of this. And since he didn't want to go to a place, I figured I'd do it. I don't really know waxing protocol. So this was kind of like a little experiment for both of us. And it turned out to be a very bad experiment because, you know, I mean, the parts that were waxed were like, you know, super smooth and whatever, but like I, you know, like you get like a little bit of wax up on the shaft and things go wrong, you know, couldn't really get around the balls. That's really painful. So just, I was just, just bro, just either go like suck it up. I know you don't want like some stranger touching your nuts, but like if you really want to get like a Brazilian or something on your nuts, go do that from like a real person or, or just shave like the rest of us and just be thorough about it i don't know bring a flashlight with you if it's like a jungle you know like doesn't it say the waxing directions on the box uh, yeah but i guess she doesn't want to read she's not a big reader guys <laughs> Old, obviously plus he was screaming like a little girl and his brother's like are you guys okay and they were like no don't come why did he even want his balls waxed in the first place if he knew it was gonna hurt Unless he's very into CBT and doesn't want to start off small. That's a that's a great point. You know, the thing is, is they went right into using his, like, using the wax on his balls. But why didn't they just, like, test it out? It's like, okay, honey, I'm going to rip off a little on your arm. Okay, did that hurt? Do you want to go and do it or do you want to stop? You know? And, and that's why he can't be into CBT, right? Because if you're somebody who's, like, into BDSM, you guys, like, test out the, like, levels, you know? You're like, okay, is that, like, are you good with that or is that, like, you know, you, you don't you don't just go and like smack someone so hard you break skin. You don't start that way. That's not how you'd start. <laughs> like you don't just start by taking the wax to the nuts. I'm in. <laughs> like, please don't come in. It kind of looks like, like there's some just stuff going on. That is my story on the one and only time I tried to wax another person's body hair specifically my boyfriend's balls so well uh, blair i'm just glad it was your boyfriend's balls specifically and not some stranger's balls that you grabbed on the street <laughs> weird thing to mention <laughs> why would you even agree to something you have no knowledge of especially with waxing and stuff i know so that was my story um this is just a really weird story okay well like the moral of the story is don't wax your boyfriend's balls if you don't know how to do it because I didn't know how to do it and it didn't work out really well for me. So, <laughs> and I feel really bad for what I did and I wasn't trying to be mean about it. I just, it just was really fucking funny. Well, you're, you're like an idiot. Like you, why are you doing that? Like, fuck bro. Like you're fucking them up. Like, w would it have been so hard to be like, all right, honey, let's go get waxed together as like a couple. Hello? That happens, like, all the time. Just go, like, oh, let's go get Manny Petties together, right? As, like, a couple thing. Let's do that. That I was actually doing that. So, long story short, don't wax your boyfriend's balls if you don't know what you're doing. And if you want... I think most women have the this, this sense and foresight to, like, 
understand that waxing hurts. Like, you've gotten your eyebrows waxed. That's like a thing. Like, like, hello, lady. <laughs> Wants to get his balls waxed or whatever. Make him go to a salon or something. Waxing those areas without any education could cause a pretty serious infection. Grimacing face. Based. Based. I honestly... That's, that's the thing, though, right? Is that Blair causes a problem and then she goes to solve it, right? And, and that's her causing the problem of the guy with wax on his nuts. And her fixing it is hurting him. And then she's like, oh, I'm sorry, baby. I'm sorry. Blah, 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 blah. 